Hey everyone, in today's video I want to show you how I add speed lines to my drawing by using drawing guides in Procreate. Let's get started. Speed lines are often used in manga or comics as a stylized way to add intensity to an action. They can emphasize the dynamic feeling from an action and create movement from a character or even just a lens looking at the scene. First, let's go over quickly what kind of brush I use to drop these lines really nice. You can get a basic round brush with only the size changing, with pressure and nothing else. A really nice detail is to add a tapering. I do it for the beginning and end of the stroke. So that way my lines begin and finish smoothly. I use this feature because I simply want clean black lines without any special feature but you can use this technique with any textured brush you want. Next, we'll use the guides and the assisted drawing to make a focal point and make all lines converge to it. You'll have to go to the wrench icon under the canvas tab and enable drawing guide. Then click on modify drawing guide and it'll open a new window. Here, you'll have to go to the perspective guide in the menu bar at the bottom and toggle assisted drawing. Then you can tap anywhere on the screen to add a focus point and you can see the preview of the converging lines. You can move around the converging point by dragging it where you want. In this illustration, the character jumps forward, so I'll add the point up above here and behind him. Press done to get back to your normal drawing window and you can start drawing your lines. Assisted drawing is enabled per layer, so if you change the layer it will deactivate and reactivate when you go back on the original layer. There's two styles I use in my drawings, using lines on the character or lines on the background. Here I'll draw lines coming directly from the character itself by drawing my lines in little clumps and trying to space them unevenly. It looks a bit more organic, I think, and adds a nice analog touch. I'll time-lapse this part to the end. And this is the effect once finished. Now I'll do it also on the background with the same focal point to show you the difference. The next method I want to show you is to draw parallel lines. You need to go back into the drawing guide menu and choose the 2D grid. By default, the grid is set to vertical and horizontal lines and that's where I'll keep it. But you can also rotate it with the handle. Same as before, don't forget to enable assisted drawing and let's try adding some vertical lines on this drawing.
So there you have it. These are the two methods I use on a regular basis to add speed lines in Procreate. I hope this helped and also don't hesitate to try this with other brushes. You can get some funky effects by using textured brushes and who knows, maybe it'll turn into something totally different from regular comic speed lines, but will be a new technique. That's the beauty of digital art, so many opportunities to test and make happy accidents. That's it for me, bye everyone and keep creating. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below or drop a comment, it really helps. And if you want to see more of these videos, you can subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.